Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, and today I am here with Aperture's latest and greatest in their LED light storm light lineup. This is the Aperture 300D. Now, this is an extremely powerful LED light, but what comes with a lot of power and light output is the need for a lot of power to run this puppy. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about what you're going to need and what you should expect when powering up the 300D. So like I said guys, the 300D is right now the top of the Aperture Lightstorm lineup and it is an extremely powerful light, uh, equivalent to roughly a 2K tungsten and even possibly some HMIs. If you wanna see exactly where this light stacks up, I actually have a video where we did some extensive testing against some industry standard lights and I'll put a link up there for you guys so that you guys can go check that out. But in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about specifically how to power the 300D. Um, so like most lights, obviously you can run it off of AC or, or mains power and, uh, and you're just fine. But like most of the other aperture and a lot of LED lights, you also have the flexibility to go portable, uh, to take this thing to locations where you might not have power to plug into um, and can run it off of big V-mount or Anton Bauer batteries. Um, but there are some things that you need to keep in mind because this sucker has some serious power draw and is going to require some serious batteries in order to push it. So <clears throat> I went ahead and first connected the, uh, the, the 300D to my wall power and I went ahead and put a watt meter on it there and wanted to see exactly how much this light is drawing from the wall. And when I turned it on to 100%, I found out that it's pulling uh, just below or around 330 watts from the wall. So that's probably why it has its name 300 here. Uh, but so it is, it is pulling quite a bit. Now, granted, that's nothing like plugging in a 1K tungsten where it's pulling 1,000 watts from the wall or a 2K tungsten pulling 2,000 watts, uh, but it is still a hefty load. And so if you're gonna be plugging in a bunch of these, you're gonna wanna make sure that your circuitry in your house or your location or wherever you're doing it is rated to handle that and you don't end up putting too many on one circuit and tripping some breakers. I also just went ahead and switched the modes on my watt meter and found out that it's drawing, uh, it's drawing just under three amps at 100% output. So now that you know the numbers that this sucker is actually pulling, um, we wanna see what it's gonna take to run this on battery power to be able to go mobile with it. So the 300D has this excessively large control box where you can mount either V mounts or if you opt to get Anton Bauer gold mount style batteries, you can do those as well. Um, and so you're gonna need these pro level batteries which are usually fairly expensive. Um, but the caveat on top of that is that you're gonna need some high end and high power batteries to run this. If you look on the Aperture website, they actually say that a 12 amp battery is minimum and you need two of them simultaneously to run this. Now what that means for 12 amps is that is the amount of draw that that battery can safely sustain. Um, so you can get V-mount batteries fairly cheap, but you'll end up getting ones that maybe only have like five or eight amp draws. And so if you try and run this light with those, especially at 100% or up towards the higher range, they're gonna have a safety switch that's gonna kick in. The light actually has a safety mechanism as well that knows the battery can't handle it, and it's gonna cut off. You're not gonna get full output and full power. So you need to look for batteries that are rated for 12 amp draws. Now they also recommend that you're gonna to wanna to get some batteries that are at least 190 watt hour rated. So these are some huge, huge batteries. Um, and so you're gonna be spending a lot of money uh, to run this guy portably. So what I did is I wanted to see if my Switronics, now branded as Core SWX, uh, Hypercore Prime batteries would run this light. So I have two of these 190 watt hour batteries but I looked it up and apparently they're only rated for 10 amp draws. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and push my luck and see if I could run it anyway. So I went ahead and I attached those two batteries. I went ahead and kicked the light on at 100% and I was indeed able to run this light off of those batteries. In fact, I have two of them connected right now and if I kick it on, 
we are at 100%. The light is not cutting off. The batteries are not having an issue. Now, I have a suspicion that maybe these batteries are a little bit more powerful than advertised. Maybe they can handle a 12 amp, but maybe Switronics just went safe and said, you know, try not to go over 10 amps. So there are safety mechanisms built into both the batteries and the light to prevent any damage from happening to the fixture or to the batteries themselves. But I'm not saying that every 10 amp battery works. I'm just saying that for me, these guys have been working just fine. Now, in terms of runtime, two 190 watt hour batteries you would think should last you all day long. Not the case. On this light, it'll actually only run this light at full power for about an hour and 26 minutes. Um, so that's, that is a good chunk of time. It is impressive to be able to uh, run this light at full power off of batteries for over an hour. But if you're going to need full power for you know an all night shoot or something like that, you're gonna either wanna plug into the wall or you're gonna need a whole bunch of these batteries. And the problem there is that those two batteries collectively actually cost more money than this light does itself. Uh, so you gotta do some kind of cost comparisons and sit there and, and try and figure out if that's really worth it for you. Now, I would be uh, really interested in hearing if you guys have found any other batteries out there that are maybe cheaper and are 12 amp rated, um, or if you found any batteries that uh, maybe aren't 12 amp rated but seem to be working just fine for you. Please go ahead and pop that down in the comments below. I'm really interested in seeing what kind of solutions everybody is using for this, uh, but just so you know, the official uh, official word is 12 amp batteries, 190 watt hour or over, uh, obviously for the best runtime and best performance. If you do put something lower on there, you risk not being able to go up to 100%. You also run the risk of the battery or lights just cutting out because of their safety mechanisms. And who knows, could happen in the middle of the shot and ruin the shot for you. But for me guys, the Switronics ones are doing it just fine for me. And uh, hopefully you guys are able to find a solution to power this beast of a light when you are out working in the field. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please go ahead and give this video a like and make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell for my channel so that you guys can be notified whenever I have videos like this or any other videos coming out. And you can be the first to hop in here and let me know what you think. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one.